Hello, today I will be pitching an idea for a science fiction movie. For this particular movie we have been given a brief. Uh, the film has to be family friendly, um, a sub-genre can be of any choice. The codes and conventions of a sci-fi film have to be included in the idea. And um, another thing is that the film has to be short. Adam, what is your favourite sci-fi film? Well, my favourite sci-fi film is a Blade Runner. Um, it came out recently and I really enjoyed the visual effects on it. Uh, what do you think makes uh, for a good sci-fi film? Adam, yeah. um, A good sci-fi film, uh, a dystopian world in the future, set in the future, I really enjoy. Uh, you know, colourful, I, I enjoy all, all, all that type of stuff, especially in the future, when it's set in the future. What about you, Kim? What's your favourite sci-fi film? Um, my favourite, as, uh, as of all them, is probably Star Wars. Uh, what do you think makes for a good sci-fi film? Um, I like um, the futuristic aspects of it and all the, the gadgets and everything involved in it with the lightsabers and stuff like that. Yeah, and, um, if you do ever face a sub-genre, um, like what, what is your favourite sub-genre of a sci-fi film? Um, uh, question I, to both of you. I would say... Zombies? I mean, sometimes sci-fi films can involve zombie films and I really enjoy that type of sub-genre in, in, in sci-fi films. Yeah, we go to sub-genre for most films, I like a bit of comedy in the films, me. I will now present to you a few of the ideas I've had in terms of this film and this project overall. So when I think of films, well, sci-fi films, I think of films such as Avatar, you know, the futuristic set and the you know, the technology that isn't actually available to humans at the moment, you know, the traveling to the planets. And uh, what I really like also about this film is that there's this, you know, this, this thing where the creatures live in the forest and unfortunately us humans, you know, try and take over another planet and unfortunately we take over their land for our own use. And uh, but, but the creatures fight back, they get the land back in the end. And uh, what I really like about this film is um, this idea, you know, of the creatures living in forests. And uh, I think that's an idea that will be taken forward with me. Although this film is, it will be very difficult to make a film just like this one because oh, the budget will be unbelievably high. The CGI is also impossible to achieve with the equipment I have and the crew. But um, yeah, th th there's definitely ideas in there that will be taken forward with me. Um, as I said, this film would be impossible to achieve for me. Like I, I don't think I could get anywhere near it. Like the budget for this film was unbelievably high, around four hundred million. And um, you know, I, I just I just don't have that type of money. And um, but yeah, as I said before, I like the ideas of the creatures in the forest, and um, it brings me to this idea of aliens. And uh, also in this film, I do like the bond between the human and the alien. That like. The human who actually takes on the uh, the avatar form kind of bonds with them, even though they're not even, you know, they're from a completely different planet. And it's definitely an idea that I'll be taking forward. Uh, so, out of this film, the first idea that popped into me, head, I was thinking maybe make a film, just, a, you know, a casual day at school. Um, it's set in a science class uh, where the teacher performs an experiment and he accidentally turns one of the children into an alien and um, the child then turns off, uh, then runs off and all the people are looking for him uh, well the film ends with a happy ending where the boy goes back to the human form um, it's a very brief idea and, uh, and yeah there's definitely lots of strengths in this such as uh, the simple storyline it would fit in with the you know the short story type thing um, the setting and the locations are also feasible. It wouldn't be a difficult, you know, difficult task to find locations for this film. Um, I think the editing software wouldn't require a lot of, you know, it wouldn't be, wouldn't have to be at the highest standard to be able to achieve a good effect in this film. But there are also weaknesses to that, to this idea, such as um, the idea is actually not clear. It is it's not fully understood how I'm going to achieve this, like what type of scenes I'm going to include and stuff like that. Um, 
the po just like the portrayal of the film will not be well presented or visualized. And also it will be difficult to edit the moment of transformation from a human form to alien. And um, I'm not too sure about the locations that will be used, it's not quite clear just yet. Uh, this is the idea that it's going to be scrapped, unfortunately, but I'm going to move on to the next one. Another film I decided to look at in the sci-fi genre is Men in Black. And I, I really do enjoy this film, you know, it's um, about these agents who try and keep the secret life, I mean, the alien life, the secret on Earth. Um, you know, the task is to, like, if there's any aliens that are... You know, maybe witnessed by people, like people witness aliens, it, it is their task to go and erase the memories of those people. And I just like the adventure type thing where they just, you know, they're just on the hunt after this big notorious boss kind of alien. And um, they do defeat him in the end. And uh, yeah, I really like that idea. The film itself is actually not possible for me to create. Um, I think the cost to create this film would be similar to the first one. And, you know, the avatar would just be absolutely enormous. Although I do like the idea of the aliens, um, I like the idea of advanced gun, advanced technology and guns, and uh, I think that's something I will be taking forward with me. I also like the alien agents idea, you know, these people that hunt down aliens, I think that will be another one that will be taken forward with me. Uh, just like the idea of, you know, the people in the forest from Avatar. Um, and I also like the good and bad in this film, just like with every film, you know, the good and bad really makes the film, you know, there's some sort of sense to it. Um, my next idea then was to create a film about government agents who are on a hunt for aliens that have escaped from a local laboratory. And um, the aliens are ver in various locations around the city. The film would be, you know, full of high-speed chases and humoristic drama between the two agents. In the end, they managed to hunt all the aliens except for one. And that one alien created living for himself in the local woods and lives there happily ever after. Um, I really do like this idea. There are definitely strengths to it, such as the two agents, you know, being on a mission. That that would be very interesting to see because we could see the humoristic kind of bond between them. That would be very suitable for the family-friendly aspect of things. Also, I like the idea of the alien escaping. And um, I think the, loca the locations I can find, such as the Crockstuff Woods, would be very suitable. Just like with the other idea, there are also weaknesses. Um, I just think there wouldn't be enough alien costumes and masks. I think the cost would be too high for me to, you know, to be able to achieve. And um, I'm not too sure whether the school will be able to fund this type of project. And um, also, the idea is not clear in terms of how it will be portrayed. Because I'm not really sure how what type of scenes I'm going to be using, what type of camera shots, angles and stuff like that. Uh, and the whole idea seems complex for a short film. This next film idea is kind of um, not in a sci-fi genre, but it's brought, like I, I brought myself to it through Avatar and, you know, the idea of the bond between a human and another creature. In the film How to Train Your Dragon, a young lad called Hiccup becomes friends with a dragon, you know, and uh, he lives in a village full of Vikings who for many, many decades have been fighting um, dragons, but he's the one, you know, he doesn't, he really stands out in the film. Uh, I really like his character, actually, you know, it's uh, it's a very unique character. And uh, yeah, he, he bonds with this dragon and in the end he manages to convince everyone in his village that dragons aren't actually bad and you know, in the end, they all bond with the dragons. So for this idea, I decided, uh, the idea for you is that a story of a young schoolboy who's different to everyone else, just like in the film How to Train the Dragon, and uh, he likes to spend his free time in a local park. Um, his school is based right next to a government laboratory where an alien is kept, and uh, suddenly an alarm goes off, which means the alien escaped. Uh, it escapes into the local woods of the park where the boy spends his time and meanwhile the government calls for help. They contact men in black suits who are alien hunters on earth. They look for aliens, the, well, the alien meets with the boy and they become friends. The men in black suits eventually find them and they capture them but the boy comes up with a plan on how to meet the alien again and the alien and boy reunite. 
There are a lot of strengths to this idea, such as, you know, the f theme of the intergalactic friendship, just like in the film Avatar or How to Train Your Dragon, the bond between the creature and the human. Um, I really like, what I really like about this idea is the use of men in black as the opposing side, but like in the film they were actually on the good side, where this time in my film I'm going to make them as kind of the villains of the film. I also like this idea that the government is portrayed as evil. Um, you know, the idea is, the, I the whole idea seems visually possible and simple. Um, the film will be ed edited using fast paced editing techniques, which means it will run under six minutes, um, which is qualified for a short film. Only one alien costume is required for this, uh, there will only be one alien. And um, the alien portrayed through co the alien portrayed through costume, and uh, the CGI shouldn't be too hard. I think I'll include things such as guns, um, lasers, but um, to make this film a family friendly film, the guns won't actually like be harmful. Like once the gun is used on someone, that that person just automatically starts laughing. And so the final idea is actually going to be idea free. Uh, it's the most interesting one in my opinion and it's a collection of the three films I reviewed previously. The subgenre of this film is going to be comedy slash drama. Um, there will be you know humoristic elements between the two agents who are going to be on a chase after the alien after he escapes and there's also going to be some great funny moments between the alien and the boy when they finally meet. The codes and conventions for this film will be things such as a science laboratory. It will make this futuristic setting for the film and um, you know it will make the film look like a science fiction film rather than just a plain film where the main focus is dialogue and stuff like that. There will actually be settings that will make the film seem like a science fiction film. Uh, another code and convention is the space the slash futuristic weapon. Uh, this weapon won't actually be a harmful weapon as it is a family friendly film, we don't want to upset the audience. Instead, um, it will kind of have a humour to it. Rather than the victim being killed or harmed, the victim will laugh, you know, un uncontrollably. Um, another code and convention is the alien costume. Um, it's a um, you know, it, it it's there's only one needed for only one character, and uh, it's a great thing because it would really make the film seem like a science fiction movie. Also, the budget for this costume won't be very high, so we can come to an agreement with the school about the funding. Um, another thing is the lasers. Uh, lasers will actually be memory erasers for the the agents will use those. Um, it's kind of this this idea kind of comes from Men in Black with the memory no neuralizers. Um, another thing is the forest setting, you know, it will bring this kind of great mood to it. It will, it, the, the visuals of the film will just be great overall. Um, another one is the fast panning and tracking shots. Uh, that will, it will make the film look very, you know, kind of actiony. There will be a lot of action at points. Um, Another film, another code and convention of this subgenre and genre in general is the humoristic partnership of the men in black. There will be silly moments, you know, such as them trying like while well, running, trying like trip each other up and stuff like that. And uh, also the intergalactic friendship, you know, this thing that I kind of came up with from the film Avatar. And um, yeah. The pros of this film will be that the scenes and labs will be very effective because of the realism of the location. Although the chase scene and also the chase scenes will look great and dramatic because of the forest setting. Um, the alien costume will give the film a sci-fi feeling. Also the introduction of the men in black will be a great kind of thing. The way they will enter, will be, they will have a big introduction to them. Um, the cons are the budget might be too high at points. Although I have mentioned before that it'd be okay with the budget, um, we were still trying to work out around that. Uh, also, the limited amount of actors, you know, they may not represent the characters in the way I visualize it. So overall, this idea still needs to developing, but it's, you know, it's looking very good at the moment. Thanks for listening.